Hi guys, good morning. Dennis Garcia here, and uh, I'm currently driving and filming a vlog. Don't judge me. I haven't really vlogged in a while. However, um, I do have my camera back, so we can start vlogging on my R6 again. However, I'm currently on my way to work and I really don't want to bring my camera with me. So I would just rather vlog on my iPhone. It seems like the easiest option since it's like, you know, it's always handy with me. I always have it. So like, why not film my vlogs on my iPhones when I can't take my camera with me? Cause it's too fucking heavy and it's too fucking expensive and I'm not trying to get my shit stolen or, um, yeah, I'm not trying to get my shit stolen, but as you guys can see, I got a haircut a couple of days ago. I went to the haircut place and decided to cut my hair. I wanted to originally, I, I wanted to just let my hair grow, but I look ugly. Like it just looks poofy. It looks a mess. It doesn't look cute. And I just, I, I didn't want to walk around with poofy, ugly ass hair all year until it like grew in and like settled down and just not here for it. So I cut my hair. I like it. Um, it's definitely my go-to style, which is just like a really short cut on the sides, basically like bald on the sides and then like a high fade. Um, and then they just cut a little bit off the top so that I still have a little bit of like hair up top so that I can style it appropriately. And that's that. I, I really like my hair. I like my hair. I would love long hair, but like I cut it off a year ago. And if I want to let my hair grow again, it's, it's got to go through that awkward growing hair phase that we all love. Um, but anyways, I am heading off to work. I don't know if I updated you guys on my job and how it's been. I've been there now for about three weeks. This week, it'll be three weeks. And honestly, like the company is really fucking great. It, it, it feels like a very 2022 current company. Like it feels like they really care about their employees, which is really, really fun. And the cool thing about like the job is that it's right in the heart of downtown which means that like after work, I can go out and get a drink. I can go out to the bars. Like I literally walk out of the building and there's like 20 bars around me. No lie, no lie. And it's just like a really, it's a really cool location. It's a really cool job. The job is very LGBT friendly. They are very trans inclusive, in inclusive. They are very progressive, which I really like. A lot of the people that are there that are like, training managers and like just office managers from the company all around the country are all like bisexual gay lesbian trans and it's just like it's really cool to see it's really cool to see a company really look at people for what they can bring to to the company and not necessarily who they are because a lot of companies tend to choose people based on ethnicities or sexual orientation and most of those people that are like black or hispanic really don't get opportunities and those people who are like lesbian gay and trans they really don't get the opportunity we don't really get the opportunities to be in like management roles and it's really cool that here there's all types of people who are in like man managerial type roles i think it's really cool i, I like this job a lot and um they also have espresso they have an espresso machine on the eighth on the eighth floor and i go there literally every i have not been to a dutch bros in about three weeks now i literally will will go to the store i'll buy all the stuff that i like need to make myself a homemade at work dutch bros i got myself the white chocolate sauce chocolate milk and the caramel sauce and i like literally make my own white chocolate dutch bros mocha um, I just go downstairs, I get myself a couple shots of espresso, go back upstairs to my floor and make my drink, put some white chocolate, a lot of caramel drizzle, and I'm just there enjoying unlimited Dutch Bros because like I can make as much as I want and I don't gotta pay for it, which is really great. Espe espresso is like one of those expenses that like aren't necessary, but like are needed in my life. And I think I've become quite dependent on coffee 
honestly, if I'm being honest, um, I've literally had espresso every single day for the last three weeks. That at this point, when I don't have espresso, one day, I get like a pounding fucking headache. Like my body is going through withdrawals. Like I get like the worst migraine I've ever had. Like when was it? It was on Saturday. I woke up and my head was pounding. The back of my like neck was in pure agony. And the minute I went to go to Dutch Bros to get myself a coffee, actually I did go to Dutch Bros. I went to Dutch Bros once in the last three weeks. Um, it all of a sudden after like half an hour it stopped and I was like wow I've become dependent on caffeine it never was like that I did go to Dutch Bros a lot but I didn't have coffee I didn't have espresso every single day I'm having espresso at work every single day and multiple shots so like my body is like give me the fucking caffeine you fucktard quit playing and holding out on us um, so that's been fun and right now I am on my way to Fry's, which is a grocery store here in Arizona, to go get more chocolate milk, cause like I have a little bit left and we still have Thursday and Friday of work days to go to through. And I really need my coffee. But uh, I have some unfortunate news. Um, my dad's in the hospital. His kidneys are kind of done they're gone they're they're dead back in uh, 2017 he got a transplant um because prior to 2017 from like 2013 and up or 2014 and up somewhere around there um he started to uh, like i guess have issues with his with his own personal kidneys and he had to go into like dialysis he's been taking a lot of like medications and just overall hasn't really been in a good place physically um, and over the last eight or nine years it's just kind of progressively declined his health has and right now it's at a point where his health is just it's not good um, he's been having trouble with like breathing he gets tired easily he's not able to like uh, like stand up anymore as much um and he had to go to the hospital last week he went to urgent care and <clears throat> they like ran some tests and all that stuff and basically told him like yeah your 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 kidneys are are done they're they're gone um so his kidneys no longer work which is fun um he got him from a motorcycle accident that happened the day of his birthday I believe it was November 17th 2017 he got the call and no 2016 it might have been because I was still with my ex at the time yeah it was 2016 November 17 2016 he got the call that um I guess some somebody had had gotten into an accident that day and the family was like, I guess he was an organ donor. And so my dad got his uh, kidneys from this person. But yeah, um, we're not sure what's gonna happen now. Not entirely sure if he's gonna be going back to dialysis. Um, we're not sure what is next for my dad, but honestly, it's not looking good. And I, I'm trying to stay positive, but like y'all, at this point, it's life. You know, the older you get, the more you understand like, peep your parents and the people who were much older than you when you were young, like inevitable, inevitably and eventually we're all gonna die. That's a given. That's the only one thing that we are promised in this life is that we're all gonna die. And I know my dad doesn't have much time left. Whether that's a year, another five years, another 10 years, I don't know. Right now, everything is kind of like up in the air. I don't know, I don't know what's gonna happen. You know, he's in the hospital again because last week he went into urgent care and this week 
he actually had to go to see his primary doctor. Um, and so he, he went there yesterday. I think he's been admitted into the hospital. So they're gonna do a lot more tests and see what what's next. Cause honestly, I really don't know, you know, what's next. So I am hoping for the best, but as you guys know, I am a pretty realistic when it comes to this type of stuff. I wouldn't say that I'm a pessimist. I wouldn't say that I am a realist. No, I wouldn't say that I'm an optimist and I wouldn't say that I'm a realist. I would call, God damn it. I wouldn't say that I'm an optimist and I wouldn't say that I'm a pessimist. I am a realist. I realize that this is life. This is what it brings. Like, this is life. This is it. This, this is, this is life, you know? Um, but it, 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 it doesn't suck any less. It, it, it's still, it's still a really awful place to be in knowing that, you know, sometime soon you're going to lose a parent and then you're going to lose your other parent and, and then you're going to be parentless and you only have your brothers to depend on and even your older brother and your sister-in-law don't fucking talk to you which is cool you know but it's like I'm gonna be alone aside from my little brother you know that's all I'm gonna have is my little brother and so it's just it's a lot to like go through mentally and emotionally and then having to like go to work and like live life and try to make the best of shit it's just like fuck man it is it is life is a fucking challenge y'all but um i'm about to get a fries to get my chocolate milk i have half an hour before i gotta be at work so i gotta uh, hurry up and go to fries but um i will catch up with you guys on the next vlog uh hopefully it'll be on my camera this time because it's almost the weekend and monday's a holiday so like i won't need to be at work and i'll have time to like film and take my camera around Ooh, and take my camera around um can we go through here yeah we can oh god i think the street's closed okay i gotta find a way to get to fries so i will let you guys go and i'll see you guys on the next one have a good day have a good weekend a good month and a good year and a good life and i will see you guys sometime next week bye